then you can show they are in brand new deck order. Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here, and I'm back to show you five trick or false cuts with playing cards. That's right, ways you can fool and blow your friends' minds. Now, previously I showed you five ways to just look cool with cards with cutting techniques. Now I'm gonna show you how to do some trick ones. Let's do this. Now, why would you wanna learn to do a trick cut? What the heck's a trick cut? Well, what it is, is a way to control the deck so they're back in the same exact order as they were previously, or maybe you wanna force the top card or the bottom card, or maybe you want a stack of cards to retain the same order so you can do some other gambling trick or whatever. So in this case, my cards are in brand new deck order. And I'm gonna do all of these tricks with these in brand new deck order so you can see the before and after so you know it's legitimate. We're gonna start off really simple and then we're gonna move into some very advanced trick or false cuts. This is one of my favorites. This is a standard straight cut. It's supposed to emulate this. Taking a section, putting it on the table and cutting it. That was a real cut. The previous one was not. Let me show you the false version one more time. It's supposed to emulate the real one. So that's the key thing. As long as it looks like it's real, it'll fool the eye. If you cut from the top and lay these down and put the bottom on top, that's a real cut. But if you swing cut the top over into the notch of the awaiting hand, pull it away quickly and put the bottom down and put the top right back on top, you've essentially done nothing except emulate a reality. So check this out up close. Hold the deck with your middle finger and thumb. Make sure this is all free for your first finger to pull up any amount of cards you want you're gonna swing that over into the notch of the awaiting hand, and you're gonna do that quickly and place that down. Once again, quick and boom. So on full speed, that's it. And then you can show they are in brand new deck order, which is not necessarily what you wanna do because you might be doing this false cut on purpose to hide the fact the cards are in order. So it's completely up to you how you utilize these techniques. Now let's move on to some more advanced stuff. Breaks. Magic packs. Now sometimes just simply changing the position and orientation of the cards is enough to fool the eye into making it look like you really cut the cards when of course these are still in brand new deck order. So follow this deception orientation. Put the deck down, cut about two thirds of the deck away, move it far over to one direction, cut off the top third, put it in the middle, take the middle, go over the top, back to the bottom, and the top right back up on top. And then of course you have the cards in brand new deck order. Now once again, deck goes down, cut about two thirds away, put the top in the middle, the middle goes back here, and you clean it back up. At full speed, it would look like this. It looks very casual, very sloppy, and it looks like you completely moved three packets around, but they're still exactly where they were. Share this video or else. Speaking of orientation, look how simple this is. I cut half the cards away and placed them on the other half. It looks like a cut, but of course, once again, it's a false cut. I did nothing. But because I removed half of a packet, rotated it to kind of a neutral position, your mind loses track of what's top, bottom, what's left and right. So let's see up close exactly how this works. Hold the deck from the sides with a middle finger and thumb at the ends, exposing the rest of the pack. From underneath, also with the middle finger and thumb, reach up underneath and take the top portion of the deck away. Take that away, the bottom is here. Bring that bottom toward you, turn it sideways, tap the pack, take this hand, retrieve this awaiting pack, put it back on top. So following that, I'm taking the bottom, putting the bottom on the table, taking the top, putting the top right back on top. And then of course, the cards are in brand new deck order. This next cutting sequence is very simple, but I encourage you to go look at my previous five cuts video where I teach you real fancy ways to maneuver cards because you're gonna learn these swing cuts and undercuts and different kinds of maneuvers that make these next couple very simple, but these are false cuts, let's do it. This is a very fun and simple three-way false cut. I'm gonna maneuver three packets around and they're gonna go right back to brand new deck order. Very simple, very clean. You're gonna swing cut the top third of the deck, put it into the notch of the awaiting hand, repeat that with the middle section of the deck, overtake the original top with your ring finger and thumb, 
take the top, which is originally the middle of the deck, take it off in that notch. Now, the only tricky part that you're gonna have to learn is bring up your three fingers and sneak your middle finger underneath and throw this deck forward like this. Again, take the bottom with the notch of your thumb, put the middle right back on top where it belongs and place the top right back on top. So again, in slow motion, one, two, three packets. One, two, three. It's very, very simple. While you're here, make sure you're a subscriber. Now this five-way cut is one of my absolute favorites because you have a lot of flexibility to change it up as you go. And again, I highly recommend you go see my previous five-cut video that teaches you just fancy things to do with cards because a lot of the maneuvers and handling are the same, but these are just all false and trick cuts. So the decks are always back in brand new deck order. Let me show you up close how it works. Now you're building on that three-way cut. I'm gonna go through it a couple times. Just try to follow the motions. Swing cut the top third or quarter. Then the next one's gonna go off the base of your palm and your thumb, it's just gonna rotate around. There's two, but here is an important thing. Do not let those close up because you're gonna give those a cut. Then you're gonna pull off a swing cut, put it in that notch, but you can rotate that back around the bottom of those cards. You can actually do this again and again. It doesn't matter because you're just putting what is to be the bottom of the cards, right back where they go. Swing cut one more time and overtake with your ring finger and thumb, just like the triple cut, and put them all back together. So the ending is the same as the triple cut, but we add a lot more flourish at the beginning. Let me do that one more time. Lift up to do a swing cut, but instead of doing a swing cut, rotate it around on your fingertips. Pull off another section, rotate it across the base of your hand and your thumb, rotate that, boom, but don't let those close up because you're gonna give those a cut as you've pulled up another one. This one gets placed into this notch of the awaiting hand. This is just a legitimate swing cut. You're gonna rotate that up and behind this deck, kind of like a cut. You can do that one time or pivot and do more or stop right there and just finish with this triple cut. In full motion, it looks like this. Now I will say that one part where you do the swing cut and it revolves around the back of the deck, you don't even have to do that. You can just continue with the triple cut. So you can go one, two, give those a cut, and now just do the triple cut. And you still have these in brand new deck order. So if you can start to imagine in your mind where the top, middle, and bottom of the deck is, you can start to see the flexibility and freedom of doing something like this. Right here, I can finish with the triple cut, or I can revolve this around, cut that again, revolve that around, because I'm still just putting what is to be the bottom on the bottom. And so it's really a great false cut because you have flexibility and it looks incredible. All right, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see a video comprised of just false shuffles, now these are really advanced, really powerful. If you wanna see that, hit that like button. If I get 20,000 likes, I will share some of my absolute favorite false shuffles or trick shuffles, they are so fun. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna give away my Ferguson playing cards. I'll sign it to one of you. I usually don't sign them, but I'm gonna sign this to one of you. And along with my booklet that teaches you some tricks you can do to fool your friends. So just comment down below, let me know you're a subscriber. And uh, just tell me anything funny about magic or say you like the video, anything like that. I'll pick one of you and I'll send this off. That's it guys, and I'll catch you next week. Peace.